2019 is winding down here in Nassau, Bahamas, but our discussions continue. And joining me now is Philip Baptista. He's the Secretary, Secretary General of Arctel. And we just want to talk a little bit about how everything's going here at GSR. So welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, you are a panelist at today's regulator track on evidence-based deci decision-making, and there you discuss the regulatory outlook report and tracking the evolution of regulation. Mm -hmm. How is it evolving? Uh, it's probably the most difficult panel to be in because we're talking about the future of regulation, which we do not know what's going to be because the, the world has changed so much. Uh, things have changed dramatically in the last 10 years with new players coming into, into the sector, with uh, a total change of mindset in terms of regulation because it's not vertical anymore, so it's transversal to various sectors. So um, the key word that we found on that panel, and I think through all GSR, was collaboration. I mean, collaboration is the key word. Uh, um, the, the challenges are global, so the only, the only way you can overcome those challenges is if you have collaborative uh, uh, regulatory initiatives, global wild, like the one you're having here in the Bahamas, the GSR. Mm -hmm. So that, that was the final keyword. And another, from another perspective, uh, one of the things, and that's what we're doing at Arctel uh, at this moment, we are revisiting the old instruments uh, of regulation. For instance, the universal service. I mean, the universal service, it was developed in a perspective where uh, the world was basically when it was developed was based on fixed line telephony, which is, is nothing today. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist anymore. I, I, I challenge you to find uh, a person in this room that's still sending a fax, for instance, <laughs> uh, if you know what a fax is. So um, uh, we're doing that in, in Arctel. We're trying to revisit the old instruments like the Universal Service one uh, uh, in order to, to, to um, reformulate it and, and, and look uh, as a tool to develop uh, the future uh, of the sector and the future of, of regulation. So this is also one of the things that uh, I believe uh, it was uh, uh, clear for all the, the participants here in, in, in the GSR. The other thing that uh, we, we had uh, embraced here, especially at the regional associations meeting, it was prior to the GSR event, which is a, a very useful platform uh, for all the regulators because it's where you can have a, a big picture of what is happening in, in the old world and especially in the different regions because we cannot forget that uh, besides the, the challenges that are global, they are also uh, uh, have to be addressed in a, in a regional level. So that, that is a very important platform for us as regulators to have the, the sharing of experience in a, in a regional approach. So as I was saying, one of the, the key issues also discussed there was the fact that we have to look at capacity building as a tool. And as a tool, not only direct to regulators or to the industry or to the users, I mean, a new model has to be set up. You have to put in the same room, in the same capacity building initiative, all the stakeholders, because then they will be learning the same, the same thing, they will be sharing the same experience, and they will be talking the same language, mm -hmm. which normally it's one of the obstacles for overcome the problems in regulation, because industry has one view over one problem, the regulators have another one, maybe the users have a totally different one. Mm -hmm. So if you put them all in the same room doing the same thing, learning the same thing, maybe you can overcome one of those challenges. And this is where uh, symposiums like GSR come in, where you get to collaborate, come together and talk oh, absolutely. about these things. Because it's, as you said, it's difficult to predict the future. Mm -hmm. So how do regulators stay on trend? How do they stay relevant? Yeah. And I'm guessing that yeah. these conversations yeah. 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 kind of help with that. No, totally, totally. Uh, it's, it's, it's exactly what you said, because, I mean, it would be wonderful to predict the future. <laughs> that would be awesome. But unfortunately, that's not uh, uh, the world we live in. So, I mean, these kind of initiatives and uh, a special thanks for the government of the Bahamas. It was really uh, impressive. All the set here, the organization, the, the facilities that they, they provided to us to work, it was amazing. Plus, the social events were really, really good, and uh, that's also important because bring people together in a more relaxed environment. So that's that's also good. So, going back to your question, I mean, exactly, this is this is crucial to have people on the same table on the same floor discussing openly in a in a very open way because otherwise, if we keep our agendas uh, closed, I mean, there's no way you're going to overcome the problems because the problems are not unique are not uh, singular anymore. They are not 
my problems or your problems as regulators, it's everyone's problems. And we have to, to overcome them, we have to overcome them together. So being together and collaborative, I think there are the two key words in, in this in this kind of events and that's what you're looking for, that's why you participate in this event. Well, you've done my job for me already, which is try, start, sort of transition us into the more relaxed part of our conversation. You see? <laughs> and you know, this is the first time that this event has been hosted in the Bahamas, in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. really, only the second time in the Americas. You've said some good stuff about it. How are you feeling about how the Bahamas performed putting on such a mega mm -hmm. event like this? First of all, I hope that this will not be the last. <laughs> so this starts to answer to your question. Um, you did a great job. I mean, generally speaking, uh, I've been uh, attending the GSRs uh, almost since the beginning. Uh, I'm almost 17 years in the in the sector so this is the 17 GSR so almost of them I've been there and uh, I mean without criticizing the others because they they did a great job this was one of the most smooth GSRs that I ever participated and why and smooth is not it's not bad it's good because there was tension there was discussions but at the end, people uh, had agreed in, in a very common line, which was the collaborative uh, regulatory uh, uh, approach. So for that extent, the job that uh, uh, the regulator did here, the, the Bahamas regulator, was amazing. The team is incredible, very young and very uh, active. And uh, the, the, the chairman of, of the regulator, I think you don't need to comment on that because we all know Stephen and his, his awesome guys. And his, is doing a great job. So in terms of the conditions, they were perfect because we are in a, uh, in a wonderful resort, first of all. Unfortunately, I didn't have the chance to go outside the room. <laughs> I'll plan to do it this afternoon to experience uh, at least the water of the Caribbeans. Uh, but in terms of the conditions, we're were awesome. It was really, really great job. Apart from that, as I was telling you, uh, the social uh, events that you guys organized for us was also very inspiring because, again, as I was saying, sometimes you can overcome things in a more relaxed environment because when you're in the room with all the industry, all the regulators, there's a lot of attention, there's a lot of discussions, and sometimes things get a little bit extreme. But then at the end, when we have the social events that you organized, and I was really impressed and I felt in love by your conch salad and by your <laughs> sky juice, uh, which I will take back to Portugal, some of that, um, you overcome those problems. So this is like a, a, a big set. You, you cannot separate the things. You cannot talk of the GSR in terms of what you're doing in, in, the, in the room and what you're doing afterwards. It's, it's all, it, it all comes together and it's very important that it come together because at the end of the day, in, in between those two events, if you wanna, if you wanna address that way, uh, most of the times you overcome the, the, the main problems that you face normally in the room. Okay, so we can call GSR 17 a success. Oh, absolutely. Great. Major success. All right, thanks so much for chatting with us. It's Philip Batista of Arctel, and we want you to enjoy the rest of your time here in the Bahamas. Oh, absolutely. I'll, right. I'll plan to do that now that it's over. Great, Thank thanks you. so much.